right, let's move on to kinky composers. All right. First question for one point. Which controversial German composer harbored a secret passion for bonuses? Yes? But I'm not confident to say. I don't know. But I'm going to say surely Wagner. Uh, yes, Michelle Laurie, you just saved the day. Wow. <laughs> the rest of that question was going to be which uh, controversial German composer harbored a secret passion for bodices and pink silk underwear while writing about women in Viking homes? Yeah, did he wear them or did he like ladies to wear them? In the last couple of years, letters surfaced that Richard Wagner had written to some dressmakers requesting these really elaborate pieces oh, of women's clothing. And size 11 stilettos. <laughs> Wagner's wife kept an exhaustive diary. Not once did she mention, oh, Richard gave me a nice dress today. But she mentioned everything else. So it's assumed that Wagner would go out dressed in women's clothing. Were you, were you, were you I, aware I of I know about interest? the letters and I've heard the stories, but... Um... Yeah, because composers are quite kinky, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> Be honest, what have you done? <laughs> <laughs> Don't make us go and find your computer files. <laughs> Would you please thank our guests for tonight, Richard Gill, Michelle Laurie, Ella Hooper and Hamish Blake. <laughs> and of course our two team captains, Alan Blow and Miff Warhurst. <laughs> We'd like to end tonight's show with a classical performance by one of Australia's foremost musical academics, Dr Alan Zavod, as he channels the spirit of a composer we mentioned earlier, Richard Wagner. Thanks for watching Spicks and Specs. My name's Adam Hills. Good night, Australia.